toward the intended receiver. On second and ten. Manning, but it'll be second down. Wide open receiver complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 22 yards there, a first down. Thus far, it hasn't been a real fun half for them, but a play like that, that may get them off the schneid a little bit, get them loosened up and moving. Kind of seems like they've been sleepwalking and still sitting on zero points. And it's not always making an adjustment. Sometimes it's just going back to what you know can work and finally getting it done. So a first and five now after the five-yard penalty from the neutral zone infraction. Manning to throw once more. Open man right side is Ingram. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Evan Ingram, 39 yards. And the Giants are able to draw a bit closer. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes yep. of a half, heading into the locker room. This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take it to the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed, and a lot of football, full half to be played. Aldrich Rosas on for the extra point. Rosas good with the extra point, and that'll cut the lead to 17-7. Just a four-play drive that time, and it was finished off by a touchdown by the New York Giants. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. This one fielded at the five. He'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. Fitzpatrick, and it's incomplete. Devontae Parker, the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. The Dolphins on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This is third and 10. Once again, they'll keep it on the ground. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? The Giants gonna burn their third and final timeout as they'll stop him with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. On fourth down, Matt Hawk to punt it away. Jabril Peppers is deep for the Giants. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. And time to spotlight Golden Tate. You better believe that he's well aware he has zero catches right now, and they're losing, so he's probably a little hungry. 
And you know the guys on defense are aware as well. And they're really excited that he has no catches, but they're also worried because a lot of times, that's like the ticking time bomb. The longer you hold him down, when he finally explodes, look out. Yeah, no catches, though, so far in this game. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. So the two teams will head to the locker rooms here in Miami with the Dolphins on top. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. And New York set to take the field. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But well, this is a do real, I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is I'm a ready. good one for them. Ball up to the 35 check, now check, as they go. come up on first check, and 10. Get it. Now Saquon Barkley. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards. Back to the 33. Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made. And that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. On second and 12, Manning gets this out to Saquon Barkley. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Give them 19 there as the drive marches forward. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there as they were able to connect. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 42-yard line. They went backwards five yards there on third down to break up four. He wipes out the penalty yardage with a good run to get it back to second and seven. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. They'll go to Barkley again. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time he hand the ball to a back. Now whistles here and a flag down. I think a giant jumped early. Down. 
Now, third and one, you had the run pass option. Now, not so much. Yeah, it changes the play call, doesn't it? And that's probably a big reason why those offensive coordinators laminate their play sheets. You can't just rip them and tear them up when you're angry about something like that. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Let's go! Obviously, they're not where they want to be right now on the scoreboard. Big plays like that, though, that'll trend them in the right direction. Yeah, a few more like that, they'll be right back in the game. And if they can continue to do that, maybe they'll inspire their defense as well to get a few stops. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Throwing now is Manning. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Golden Tate, his intended receiver. But it'll be second and goal. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. A touchdown saving tackle there. Now it's third and goal. And partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. The Miami defense trying to keep him out. They haven't let him in yet. Can they hold it? And he is in. Touchdown, Giants. Saquon Barkley taking it in from a yard out. And the Giants have got it back to a one-score game. Able to punch it in on third down makes it easier for those guys on the sideline. They didn't have a fourth down decision to make. Yeah, could you feel the exhale? Because they were already thinking ahead as all the good coaching staffs do anticipating will we have to make the call they already had it lined up never even got to it PAT up and good by Rosas and the leads down to a field goal at 17 14 so that one a pretty time-consuming 10 play drive and the rookie Saquon Barkley the one who finishes things off with a touchdown run Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. This is taken at the three. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. So here are the Dolphins now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. Certainly want to avoid what they had to do last possession, that was pump the football, because this, this game's starting to tighten up. In a basketball sense, you think about taking a little bit of the air out of the ball, right? Maybe milk some clock, limit the possessions. In this case, they might want to do the same thing, but control the game offensively, put together some first downs, put together a drive, and keep it away from them. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Working out of the gun, Fitzpatrick. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Devontae Parker was the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. It's a big play there for Miami, 47 yards. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great, and what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. What can they do here on second and goal? Three red zone trips so far have yielded two touchdowns and a field goal. Now Fitzpatrick. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. 
Charles Clay is tied in the intended target, but it'll be second and goal. All right, that one fell incomplete there, but the best quarterbacks, they'll miss on 40% of their throws somewhere in that neighborhood, similar to a great hitter in baseball who's going to fail seven out of 10 times and still have a great year.